We have a ton of work to get to tonight. Welcome, everybody. My name's Dan. This is Crossing Minute, and we are back once again with work to be done on the Gold Core Island of Mahalo. Oh, boy. I am so hopeful that we can stay on task tonight. <laughs> Because generally speaking, that's not how I roll. Uh, let me show you where we're working. Originally, I thought we were going to work on the neighborhood up top in the hills. But then I decided, you know what? I sure do have a lot of farming-related items. And my peasants here, you know, I get a lot of questions about them. People wonder, why does your Gold Core Island have two villagers that are, are clearly not? They're not very Gold Core. We got Marshall. And we got Coco over here, and everyone's just kind of waiting for the day I kick him out. But that's not how this works. That's not how this works. Someone's got to feed the good, rich people of Mahalo, and that's going to be Marshall and Coco, my farming peasants. Um, welcome, everybody who's watching live, and welcome to everybody who's watching after the fact. Uh, and to both parties, we are raising money for the families and children in Ukraine going through a crisis right now. We've raised, it looks like, $1,500 so far, which is well over our original goal of $500, so thank you so, so much. I've raised the goal to $2,000, which is pretty ambitious, I think, considering just how much we've raised in such a short amount of time. Um, so for those who've been thinking about it, if you want to, uh, feel free. Any amount helps. And then for those who give $25 or more, uh, yesterday we were making shirts, but today we're going to be making little flags. Um, and maybe even other things. Who knows? If I get tired of flags, I might pick something else. But I'm no longer going to limit it to just amazing, incredible t-shirts. It's also going to be now flags and maybe some other stuff. So that's what I want to do tonight. So for anyone who donates $25 or more, that's what I'll be doing for them. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who's here. I see Own is here. Celestial Knights helping us moderate. We have Cody Crossing. We have Star... Uh, Najar, I think. Twilight Skittle is here. Brings Bane's helping us moderate. Rose is here. Siberia. MX Rossetti. We have Nader Tots. Uh, we have Awful Gaming. We have, let's see, Ryan's here. Hello, everybody. And Galaxy and Neptune. I got I got Mail. Mail is here. It's from my other character. I set myself. I forgot about this. A lighted display stand. And look at that. We already got. <laughs> Lori's Laboratory and Bringsbane both just donating a whole bunch of money. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, so I'm going to write these names down. And in a little bit, we're going to make you some designs here. Lori's Laboratory. I'm sorry, I'm writing so slow. I should have done this with a keyboard. I also don't have a desk that's great for writing because it has this texture to it. Thank you so much. $25 USD. I did I did see. Thank you. I will definitely be making you some designs here in a little bit, but let me get my bearings. Let me uh let me get my head on straight here and show you some of the items we're playing with right now and why I set myself this display stand as well. Um so check this thing out. Uh, you've probably seen this before. It's a light-up display stand. You can actually turn it on and off. And it has a, a nice generic texture to it. And so what I wanted to do, what I've been wanting to do for a while, and we might even do it tonight. I know I said I'm not going to, you know, I'm working on the farming area, but you know me, I get distracted. Uh, on those pillars out in the water there where the ice pillars are, I'm going to get rid of those ice pillars. I'm going to put these display stands. And we're going to play around with that. Megan, thank you so much for your donation. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm going to be putting something on the little display stands that light up. I just don't know what yet, but probably something gold. And then I'm going to also replace the ice trees as well. I just think because of 2.0, we've got so many more fun items to play with. And so the stuff around the bridge is just getting a little bit stale to me. And I want to I want to mix it up a little bit. Uh, so that's why I have that. So let me put it away and then show you some of the items that I want to play with with the farm. I have a lot of fun ideas. I'm just hoping I have enough space for all of my fun ideas. I don't know if I do. Chances are I don't. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, sorry, I have a lot of buttons I got to push here. So, we have a number of farm-esque items or just kind of 
old school looking items. GT Plays, thank you for your donation of five pounds. Appreciate that to UNICEF. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, so I grabbed a bus stop. I don't think I'll need two of them. I don't even know if I'll use one of them, but I grabbed one anyway because it kind of fits the vibe. And there's something I've noticed about our farming area. I've probably used some of these party light arches um, or plain, yeah, yeah, party light arches. I'll probably use some of these as well. I might even use the pergola. In fact, let's just grab it so we can maybe put it in a couple spots, see how we like it. I don't know if I'm going to use the street lamps, but I ordered some extra ones. Where are the items I'm looking for? I think they're towards the bottom here. Uh, yes. Okay, so I have a tractor, of course, because it is a farm. Uh, I also have some kind of old-timey items, like we got the cruiser bike, we got the scooter. I think some stuff like this might fit the vibe we're going for. Awesome. Sean is back. Welcome back. Welcome to everyone just getting here. Um, Jumpy, yes, I am too. Thank you. Uh, and then hello to Maple Ario. How's it going? Sammy. Yeah, we got a we got a tractor. I got a retro gas pump. I'm just going to, I don't know. I, I, I might not use it. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, and I have these tanks. Someone sent me this and I had to get another one. Um, we're probably going to use those. Uh, and then I played around with some colors of some items that definitely fit the vibe. Deanna, thank you so much. Um, but they don't... They don't have a gold color to them, and I still want to use them, so I'll, ch I'll show you how that's going to work. Um, I cannot write on this paper. I'm trying to really quickly write down your name here. Thank you so much for your donations. I cannot believe we're already... <laughs> it does now feel like we could end up hitting the goal, which is just, just madness. AJ is here. Hello to you. Um... BFF buddies, I appreciate it. Uh, I generally don't accept a lot of friend requests on Discord, but you're welcome to join our uh, Discord. Uh, we, there's always, we can always catch up over there. I have a windmill. I have a milk can. Of course, this is gold. The hand cart's gold. We're good with the hand cart. This thing, I don't know if I'm going to use it. It's a kind of farming-ish item. I just don't know if I'm really going to use that in the build. I don't know if I like it. Uh, what else was I going to grab? I might end up, when I, if I do get desperate for more gold vibes, I got all these on standby. Which I will use somewhere on this island. I got my stacked bags, which are in need of customization. Probably some boxes too. Cardboard boxes are always good for, you know, signifying that we got a whole bunch of stuff. We need to get, we need to make some wooden boxes too. Don't let me forget that. That's the other thing. We're going to need a lot of crafting materials. The Aquarius urn could go somewhere, but it might not fit the vibe. So what I'm trying to create here is a rustic looking farm with gold core accents. And we got a lot of work to do because I realized today that the fruit trees and then the planting beds behind them don't make any sense. It doesn't really make sense to hide what I'm planting. You know what I mean? Uh, and I understand the houses, they're tall, they, they have a tendency to hide things too, but nowhere near as much as two layers of trees do. So this has always kind of frustrated me, so I need to kind of figure that out as well. And I, what I wanted with the trees is I wanted every single fruit to still be on the island and available in case I need it for any reason. Are you making the peasants mine for gold? Um, maybe that's like their second, that's their side hustle. We'll call that their side hustle. I think they... They really... They run the farm, but after they get done watering all their crops and stuff... You know in Stardew Valley, you water all your crops and you go around town and you find something to do all day? That's what they do. They go to the gold mines. They're really... They're really motivated people. Will you plant some wheat and yellow pumpkins, or are you sticking with gold roses? Uh, the gold roses are temporary, and you know what? I have so many now that they might be very temporary. Uh, I actually do want to plant some crops... And I also ordered some of that, uh, the wheat item. It's called, I think it's just called wheat field or something like that. Uh, it's really cool. It's this really dense wheat. You can't actually harvest it. It's just a fun item to play with. And I would like to plant a bunch of that somewhere. Or plant, place. Hey, Perry made it to a stream again. Welcome. All right. I'm, I need food. I don't know if this is like a rare food. I don't want to eat any rare food. 
something that I can just whip up myself, you know, and a bunch of it. Maybe we'll, we might want to head home and go to the, go to our kitchen and just kind of like cook up something. What kind of, what kind of raw foods do I have? Speaking of farming, what do I have in abundance of? Pumpkins. It looks like I have a decent amount of potatoes. I need these for planting, but maybe I can use some of them or I could just, I don't know. There's probably some kind of fruit thing I can make. Look at all this fruit. All right. Let's go. Let's let's prepare for for this for this night of moving trees around and and items and everything else by making some food. I prepared. I did I did get my items, but it just wasn't enough. I I didn't anticipate that I would have to eat stuff. Pheasant, wait, peasants cooking pheasants sure is pleasant. What is going on? <laughs> Are we writing poetry for the peasants? Are you going to be doing specific times where you can visit your island? Um, probably not, if I'm being honest. I think just given how busy I am, when I'm not when I'm not streaming, usually I'm keeping my hands busy doing something. So it's just not something I think I'll end up doing. Um, never say never, but uh, yeah, that would be uh, quite a time commitment and I got a lot I need to do for all the channels and fun projects I'm doing and plus work and family and you know all that fun stuff um what was I doing up here I was making food that's what I was doing up here which is not stored in my phone Julia or Julie sorry donated $20 thank you so much you are awesome we appreciate you I think what I'm gonna do is make stuff out of oranges I got a lot of oranges. Let's see if I can make something out of oranges. Shirts are looking fire. Thank you. Yeah, I, I kept them up. Uh, I, I'm pretty happy with those. It looks like each of these probably take two oranges, which means they would heal for, or heal. They would probably give me two, you know, points. And that's fine. Is YouTube your job? Uh, no, no. I got a whole nother thing. So it keeps me busy. Of course, Julie. Thank you. I appreciate it. Peculiar peasants. <laughs> Cooking pheasants. Aren't all foods five points? Uh, they vary, actually. So the orange jelly will be worth two, I think, because it takes two oranges. But let me see if that's true. Eat it. Five. Okay, you were right. That's weird. Wait. All food gives five points. That's not how it always was, was it? What? No. There's foods that give way more, right? Did they change it? Or am I just misremembering? I... Anonymous donation of $20. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, oh, that's why I was confused. So all foods are five and drinks are three. I got to say, I'm a little disappointed in Nintendo for that because they were so precise with crafting materials and what those were worth and how far they went. So I don't know if you know this. Um, this is a fun fact. I've actually tested this one. So... Let's say, we're just going to use fake numbers because I don't actually know what anything's worth off the top of my head. But let's say one piece of this wood is worth 100 bells. If you were to just sell the wood, let's say you get 100 bells. If you used that wood in a project, you would double its value. So if you crafted something with that one piece of wood, it would be worth 200 bells. And what's cool about that is if you were to go to Nooks and see what their two special items are for the, uh, for the day... It's worth double that. So if you make something out of wood that's worth 100 bells, but it's worth double at nooks, you actually get 400 bells for making a bunch of that. So they were really specific with what this was worth in its raw form, in its crafted form. So what I'm saying is I'm surprised that the food in this game doesn't have that varied you know, value. Like if you eat an orange, you get one point. If you cook with it, you get five and that goes for everything. And that's a little sad. I thought it was a little more detailed than that. 
Anonymous donation of $5 there. Thank you so much. Shirt game. I am going to do some designs. Uh, we do have a few people that I now owe some flags to. So we're making some flags. But first I wanted to move these trees. At least start picking them up. So that's what we're going to do. I'm doing good, Josie. How are you? What I was saying earlier about these two is I wanted them represented on the island. I need to find a place for them. And if I can't, mm, I don't know. I don't know what will become of them. Will this just be an island with no fruit trees? I've never had that before in Animal Crossing. So I'd be a little bit be a little bit sad about that. My first Animal Crossing game was the one on GameCube. So basically the first. What are you doing? <laughs> Eat this. Would they fit with Red's area? Oh. Interesting. Would they fit with Red's area? It sure would buy me a lot of space, I'll say that. At least keep the orange trees of the gold core? Uh, I mean, I kind of see why you'd say that. Mary, how's it going? Yeah, as an AC veteran, um, the, the concept of eating food to move entire trees is very new to me because it's new to this game. So, yeah, that's why I don't know stuff like that off the top of my head. I can't believe, I didn't realize that they were all worth five. I've made a lot of food. I've just not eaten a lot of food because we got the 2.0 update at a time where I've played the game a lot. So I haven't, I haven't used a lot of these new items as much as I would like to. So Red's area, as you can see, is supposed to be pretty, like, beat up, right? How many bells do you have? Oh, uh, so I'm back up to 10 mil on this character after a really good week for turnips. So I think if I were to put fruit trees back here, it would kind of steal a lot of space for, and I don't have a lot, it would steal a lot of space and visibility for other stuff that I think would look better back here. So it was a good thought, but yeah, I just, I, maybe a tree could go up on that ledge and then that's about it for that. And then I could put, because it's a pink core area over here, I guess I could throw a peach tree somewhere. Look at Marina enjoying her yard. That's so nice. Um, oh, I got something buried back there. I didn't even realize, uh, but yeah, let's just, what we'll do is we're going to keep the fruit trees in our pocket until we get really annoyed with them because they're going to take up space and we'll decide from there if they make it maybe they won't I line some of my trees against the edge of the beaches and the rivers so they don't take up too much space that was so what I was thinking it's funny you say that uh, what I was thinking about that was what if the trees instead of being bunched up like they were what if they lined the farm uh, so there were some trees up here and then we just did the same exact thing symmetrical wise, like we did that right here. And that would keep the trees in play. It's just, I think the farm would be so weird and symmetrical that where am I supposed to put the fun items like the tractors and the, you know, all that fun stuff. So I've kind of trapped myself here a little bit, I think. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. This is going to be really, really tough for me um, because I, I want to represent all the different fruit trees. Then again, I have a whole other character and a whole other island, and there's, you know, it, there's no rules. You don't have to have any fruit trees. So I, I'll be willing to get rid of them if need be. All right, we got some, we got some flags we need to make because we did get. Some very generous $25 donations. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the custom designs. And uh, we're going to make our first one of the night. I got my paper here with my poorly drawn people names on them. So this first one's for Lori's Laboratory. And like I said, I wanted to make little flags this time. Um, all right. Flags have two sides. And also the flag stick. So let's just, you know what? I think we'll make it simple for, for the flag stick. We'll just do that. It's cool that we can change every aspect of it, though. 
I don't think I've actually made one of these before. I'm just now realizing that. Uh, and so this is the front. Okay, and then this is the back. And so our first flag is for Lori's laboratory, which sounds very science-y. Um, so we need to make a science flag. We need a science flag, which means we need to make like a beaker, right? So I think we'll just make this really simple. We'll have a beaker. Uh, here's, here's the base of the beaker. Beakers are wide. So I think... Uh, I think that's even. I'm not counting, but I think that's even. And then what it would do is it would kind of come in like this. Okay. And then it would kind of like go up. Like that, maybe a little bit taller. Eh, maybe it comes in a little more actually. I don't know. It's it's looking a little a little wide. I don't know what that is, but that looks kinda neat. Uh let's just go ahead and erase that. Alright, and then how I think the, the neck of like a beaker is like you know, kinda tallish. And then there would be like a, uh, how do you do this in pixels? Like, this is looking like not how I want it to look. Um, and let's just say no more than that. I think instead what we'll do is just, how about that? And then we gotta put some beaker goo in there. So we'll get the green and we will hit the Y button, not the minus button and Let's put our beaker goo. We're not gonna fill the whole thing up. Maybe like to here. Okay. This is taking a lot of patience, this one. This is why I don't like being precise. <laughs> I thought I would try it, but all right. And then let's say it. There's some like, where's the circle tool? Where we need we need some bubbles. So let's say there's like you know, there's something brewing here. There we go. I you know what? I think it's a masterpiece. I think that's perfect. Uh. I wasn't done though. Give me give me a moment to just go ahead and label this and then we'll go back and make an edit. There's one problem with flags and, and it's that the other side needs to be made as well. Okay. Am I spelling this right? Who who cares? See, see the back of it? It's all messed up. Care Bear, thank you for your donation. Much appreciated. All right, let me change this design just real quick. Uh, I What I want to do, and I think all I need to do is go over here and hit the swap slash copy button. Uh, I want to, okay. How do you, which part do you want to work on? Copy. No, 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 no. Okay, so wait a minute. Copy. There we go. Whew, I almost erased it. Okay, so there we go. We got that copied, and now we're done. Perfect. All right, one down. By the way, I did upload all of these shirts from yesterday's live stream. They are available on the... Uh, uh, on my with my design code, uh, so you can go get them over there. And what we'll do real quick is make another flag. And this one's going to be for Bringsbane, our moderator. Now we already did a Banhammer one, so I got to think of another hobby for Bringsbane. 
unfortunately, because there's already a Banhammer. Well, there's a Banhammer shirt. That's the thing. There's not a Banhammer flag, so I have to, I have to be, I have to go a little easy on myself. We'll just make that black again. Um, maybe we can. Maybe we can do it. Maybe we can make a Banhammer flag. That might be fun. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe, um, you know. This this ban hammer has been through a lot. Let's just say that. So we have the that's the you know handle, and then we need we need the rectangle tool so we can draw a good good rectangular hammer. Okay. Mm, I wasn't done. <sighs> Game. AJ, we'll see you later. Thank you for being here. There we go. Is that even? No. No! Oh, why? Oh, I hate that so much. Oh, that's annoying. When you push the plus button, it closes everything. You have to start editing all over again. It's really annoying. <sighs> okay. I think that makes it even. All right, good. And then what we'll do is we'll fill in the rest. And now uh, what we need to do is go in and it's going to be a little concave because, uh, you know, Bringsbane, Bringsbane is like, listen, Bringsbane really likes to use this, okay? So this hammer's kind of seen some stuff and some things. And I think, I think you see uh, that it's, you know, it's not doing super well. Let me just go ahead and cut off the bottom there. Uh, you know what? It's probably more effective this way. I think you could do a lot of damage with this. Okay, and let's let's get the word ban on there like we did yesterday. So we can just, uh, we can just come in like that. Shoot. <laughs> okay. Perfect. It's the busted banhammer. Brings Bane's busted banhammer. All right. Now you can wave it around and pretend. You can actually, like, do some damage with that. Oh, I forgot to make it backwards. Ah, oh, shoot. This is the one thing about flags that I'm going to need to get used to. How do we do this without erasing it? So it's the swap copy button, and then we, we hit Y, copy that. Okay. What was that other option? Hit Y, flip and copy. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm just going to do regular, though. Huh. It's perfect. All right. And we have one more um, that we need to make real quick. And I'm going to have to really make this one up. You just got your dreamy, Hay Hayako. Nice. Congrats. I... Oh, jeez. Uh, why Nintendo? Why'd you do it this way? I should be allowed to like sit, change my mind when saving a pattern. <sighs> okay. The first button I reach for is the plus button because I feel like that's going to give me the options. But it doesn't. It never has. Okay.
All right, what we need to do is figure out. Now, I wrote down this name really quick. I think it was Deanna's? Oh no, it started with a D for sure. I don't know if it's still in the chat history. Give me one second. Yes, Deanna S. Got it. What we need to do is come up with like a hobby, something that Deanna S. loves to do. How about watch live streams? I think that makes a lot of sense to me. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna make it so it, the flag is of you watching a live stream. So here we go. First, we need a TV. And TVs are made of, say it with me, rectangles. Right. Right. So so there is there is a TV. Maybe something like that. And then we need to fill it in with TV goo like that. And then um that's gonna be make that's gonna make it really hard to actually draw on. Uh no problem, no worries. You're watching something on TV, obviously. It's not a TV that is off. So all I need to do is make another rectangle. And this one's going to represent the sky. So something something is indeed on this TV. Okay, so that'll be the sky. And then we can go ahead and fill that in. There we go. This is looking good. And... Then we need some, like a horizon, some grass here. So we'll just go ahead and we'll do that. All right, perfect. So what you're watching is me live streaming. Okay. So there's that. Now I just got to draw me. All right, and this should be easy. Um, I see myself every couple days in the mirror, so I kind of know what I look like. So it's something, I think, like this. Like, that's my head. Mm. It's kind of big. So let me, let me scale that back a little bit. Actually, oh, I have an idea. Why do I have such long hair? Let me fix that real quick. Okay, cool. That's my hair. We'll just say I have hair. All right. And then we'll give me like a little maybe uh I don't know. I'm I'm doing something. Uh Okay. I guess that's my leg. I don't know what happened to it. But there we go. Maybe it looks like I'm I'm getting ready to like run or maybe I'm doing yoga. Either way, you're watching me stream Animal Crossing, and now we need to put you watching the TV. So this will also be easy. Let's let's go ahead and draw you. Now I gotta, I actually have to change the perspective here. Oh, why did it do that? Dang it! All right, we're not done. The plus button ends all designing and all fun. X. Here we go. Okay, we'll put me up here. So, you know, you've, you've mounted your TV on the wall. And then now we're going to draw you. So we're going to draw the back of your head, which kind of looks a little bit like this. Oh, my. Let's try that again. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. Hmm. The back of your head looks like a bean. We're going to go with it. And then your torso, which is something like that. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we'll we'll give you some hair. And I'm going to say that your hair is yellow because sometimes hair be yellow. And we're just going to throw some up here. And we're just going to throw some around the back. This is the back of your head. So it's just, you know, it's something like this. Okay, it's a little bit curly. All right, and so that's you... Watching me stream 
making this flag. It's group stretching, but yeah, nobody nobody showed up that day. But yes, that's what we can call that. We can call that group stretching. Uh, and then we're gonna let's alter this white a little bit so that it it's not as bright. There we go. We can see your hair a little bit better if we do that. Perfect. And then all I need to do is copy it over to the other side. I didn't forget this time. All right, copy, paste. Perfect. There we go. That is your flag. Uh, enjoy it. I really hope I'm spelling your name right. Because I already forgot. I know there was an S at the end of it, though. Perfect. Well, I think we have three amazing flags here. <laughs> three flags that I think would be proud to be classified as flag. I'm slightly offended by the shape of my head, otherwise it's perfect. It was pretty accurate, I think, to the shape of a person's head. It had a little lump or two sticking out, but otherwise it was close. I think I did an okay job. Uh, all right, I'm really excited to work on this farm. So here's what we need to decide. Am I going to keep growing gold roses at this kind of rate? Because look at this. This is like a lot. This is a lot. I think we can admit that. This is like, this would produce a lot of gold roses if I kept watering it, which I haven't been doing a very good job of. Uh, the other thing we need to do is probably get in, into our island designing tool and decide how big do we want the actual, uh, you know, dirt plots. Because they're the perfect size right now. But if I make them come out to the edges, they'll no longer be the perfect size. You know what I mean? If I water these with a gold watering can, I hit every single flower. But if I make it wider, then I got a odd, you know, an odd watering pattern. And I don't like that. And the other thing we need to decide is where, where's some of this bigger stuff going to go, like the tractor? So let me put down the tractor real quick. There it is. Ugh. So what if the tractor was parked behind Marshall's house. You see how it's like barely visible? I don't like that. It's inspiring me to change my flag. I like walking up this path and seeing that there's farm equipment there. What do we do about this? What do we do when houses block a lot of our view? Like, I want something. I, it's weird to have this awkward gap. Do you think I go, like, hedges? Do you think I make a fence and bring it around? Ooh, maybe that, maybe we do that. What kind of fences should we make? Let me look at my phone first before we get stuff out. We have some options, and I want them to be customizable options. I think that's important. It is the Gold Core Island. We need our, we need our options preserved. So we can customize the iron fence, but it doesn't look very farm-like. We can customize the corrugated fence. I don't know what we'd get, but hardwood and iron nuggets. Um, let's at least make a little bit and see what we get. Because this place is going to look a little rough. I'm not going to lie. Get something out. What are you doing? So, okay. Some of these. And some of these. I do not have a lot of iron. All right. Let's, what are we doing? Let's try that again. Corrugated fence has a very gold golden variant. Really? Ooh, okay. Well, I'm excited now. Perfect. Uh, I forgot to get customization kits out. Let's go ahead and do that then. Customization kits. We have nine customization kits. Okay, we'll go we'll go buy some more of those before it gets too late. All right. What do we got? Oh, I see. So yeah, you're right. There is a very gold variety. 
perfect. All right. I love that. Quarter gate fence and vertical board fence are farm like, but definitely go with the gold core variant for each. Does the. Wait. Can we do. Is, wait a minute. We can paint the vertical board fence? Oh, we can. Okay, we got to try that too then. I didn't realize. One second, guys. All right. Uh, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh. All right. Craft me some of this. Oh, we're out of space. <laughs> Dang it. I knew these fruit trees would be a problem. Tobin, thank you so much. And don't worry about it. It's, uh, it is awesome that you're here. Is there anything in this pile of stuff that I'm probably not going to use? I'll be honest, I feel like I'm going to use a lot of this stuff except maybe the cardboard boxes. If I need them, I know where to find them. Okay, now let's go. Vertical board fence. Okay, let's see what kind of customization options we have for this. Ah, yeah, okay. Perfect. Orderly pockets are important. They are. I'm afraid mine are kind of a mess. Tom, how's it going? So vertical board fence is cool. It's a bit tall. Let's start with the corrugated fence and just kind of see where that gets us. Uh, what I was thinking was creating little yards with this stuff. So... What if it, like, came out to here? That's pretty cool. I'm good, Tom. I'm good. I'm playing around with some of these fences. I already like this. I think it's pretty cool. Um... It does offer, I would say, mm, a rough-ish transition from, you know, we cross the bridge and, like, you have, you have two choices. You can get over here and it's kind of beat up, or you can walk up this way where it's much more welcoming. I'm trying to decide if maybe... See, I like the corrugated fence in the front. I'm fine with that. I just don't know about the, the side here, but I don't know what else I could put. I'm just seeing how I feel about walking. If I walk over the bridge, how do we feel about that? Hold on. Stand by. Let's not fall in the river, please. Yes. What is it, balloon? Oh. Let me just drop those on the ground. Nice. That was worth a bunch of points. That's all right, Levi. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Anyway, we'll grab the vertical board fence. Someone said behind the houses with this. I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. So let's try this out and see how we feel. Oh. Oh, is there not enough room? Come on, tractor. Small Kit Kat, how's it going? Hmm, okay. Interesting. I'm leaving a little gap between the path and the fence just because I might... I might put an archway of some kind there. I don't know. I'm just leaving the option open. 
Interesting. Okay. All right. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about a lot of these things. I guess I was kind of hoping that the fences would do a, a better job of like... Okay, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. Here, let's make some more. I think, we, I think I'm pretty committed to these fences, but I need to make some more. I need to put away... You know what? I don't need to put away anything. I don't know what I'm thinking. What about vertical banners? If you want a modern gold fence, you should try the yellow iron fencing. I actually don't want a modern gold fence for this area. I want a I want a uh, rustic gold fence. And it's, I think we found that. All I'm trying to get is iron right now. Anyone know what to do with gyroid fragments? Yes. All you got to do is bury them and give them some water. If you water them with a watering can, tomorrow you will have a fully grown gyroid when you dig it up. Okay. Where did they go? Here they are. Oh, the ar okay, so you're saying the banners where the arches would go. Uh, I don't think about it. Something tall would be good. I just don't know the banners. I'm using so many already. Something tall would be cool, though. Okay. Corrugated fence. I'm glad customizing this is so cheap. That's very helpful. Okay, so like I was saying, I think I think I know what to do about our fence problem. What we do is we actually close this off like this. Oh, the pergola. You're right. That's where our pergola could go. Actually, it might fit perfect. So... What we do is we share the yard between the two houses. That's what we do. And now we can kind of, it, I think that looks a little more finished. So we have like a little driveway. BFF will see you later. Excellent. Let's take the pergola and put it down and just see what we, what we feel about that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Can we put anything? No, I can't even walk back there. All right, so it is in like the perfect amount of space. That's interesting. What if? Okay, so let me let me try this then. Let's take the vertical board fence and make it come out. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. First, we'll move this back. All right, and now. Let's make this come out to here. All right. I like that transition. And it kind of brings the two houses a little bit closer together, I think. Artsy Gamer, how's it going? Welcome back. You're so close to your fundraiser goal. Yes, we, we did raise it for the stream, Artsy. Thank you. Um, thank you for being here. Artsy Gamer is another fellow Animal Crossing uh, YouTuber, so please do go give that channel a follow if you have a minute. Uh, yeah, this is going pretty good, I think. I'm going to move the tractor in close to the fence, and then I want to see what does it look like from out here. Am I making a gold prison camp? Uh, not quite. Sort of, but not quite. These are my, this is my gold core island, and these are my peasants. They, they do all my farming for me. All right. I think we're off to a start. This pergola is going to need some yellow flowers or just something yellow to tie it in with the fences. So we'll do that. But I like I like where all of this is going. 
We need to determine what we're going to do about the path. This path was temporary. No, I'm not done building. Okay. We, we want to go rustic. The problem... The problem is that I have the farm uh, tiles right up against the path. So if I use either dirt, I can't... It'll blend with the dirt on the farm patches. Fortunately, we do have space to move those over. We can move both of them out by one tile. I vote dark dirt for the custom path. I don't know if I want to put down the custom path though. I was thinking of doing I was thinking of doing a just a literal a literal dirt path. Because this is the gold path. And that's great, but this the peasants live here. We can't be paving their streets in gold. Either way, we got some work to do because these flowers are kind of... There's too many. Oh, jeez. All right. I got inventory management I got to do. I'm going to I'm going to see Cyrus. The more items I can put down, the easier I can maneuver flowers. Normal stone might look rustic. Yeah, it might be time to just do some normal stone. I do have the stone bridges around the island, so it wouldn't be too off from what we've done so far. All right. What if you downloaded a one-tile dirt design and put it over the bricks? Hmm. I don't know of one. That could be interesting. And yes, thank you everyone for joining us. Thanks for all the likes in the stream. Looks like we're over 100 likes. Which is awesome to see. Uh, what's the island tune? Was that we are number one or am I just tripping? Uh, it wasn't that, but it was familiar. Maybe, maybe if you hear it again, you can, you can get it. Okay. I need to customize... The pergola. Here we go. Mama Cat, thank you for your donation. Thank you very much. So this one has yellow flowers, and it's a white pergola. Mm -hmm. That's our only yellow flower option. And that thing is bright white. All right, so we'll have to tie that in with some stuff, but I like the flowers. Lovely got it. Lovely Ivy got it. Okay, do I have anything else that would need customizing? Oh, my stacked bags. Hey. Customize these. Oh, look at that. Plant soil. Custom patterns. Yeah, I think plant soil. Is there any other item while we're here? My cruiser bike and my scooter. These are just some more old tiny items I thought would look cool with a, like a rustic farm. Unfortunately, there's no gold variety, so we can just use a white because of the pergola. Alright. And then we have scooter. There is a golden scooter. And I don't really need a custom design on it. Alright. 
I didn't realize how many things I had that I would want Cyrus to look at. Let's just go back in. Sure, there's something, right? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I already did these. Okay. Nope, I guess we're good. Perfect. All right. I actually do have a spot where I'm growing yellow pumpkins. That's uh, by Nooks currently. I'd like to mix it up a little bit. Cam! Thank you so much for your $30 donation. I'll be making you a flag momentarily. I think I have just the thing. What the heck? $117? That's a very specific amount. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the anonymous donation. That's probably the biggest donation we've gotten during uh, the, the, this stream and the one from yesterday. Oh my goodness. Between the two. Awesome. Thank you. These are all going to UNICEF, which is uh, right now collecting donations so they can bring clean water and supplies to children and family across Ukraine, and we really, really appreciate all of the support. Thank you so much. Very generous. Um, yeah, you guys are awesome. So, I'm digging the pergola. I think it's, I think it's really nice here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. Uh, everything else has been gold, gold cored out. So then it's just a matter of deciding what goes where. They wanted to round the number up. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, and there's something else I wanted to do with this farm, too, that I'm just now remembering. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, guys. I don't know if I have space for all my, all my dreams right now. I got a lot of dreams, okay? <laughs> what do I do? Let's make a fence. I think we'll just have to get creative here. I will customize the houses, actually. Yes. that That's a must. Oh, I need softwood as well. Oh yeah, Levi Ghost, you you donated across a bunch of donations, 170. Oops. All right, let me craft these fences real quick. I have another type of fence I want to use. It's kind of a lot. Three different types of fences is a lot, but I think you'll understand once once it starts coming together. Wait, where is it? Oh my gosh, where is it? <gasps> I don't have it? What? I don't have... This is like one of the most basic fences. It's the one... When you think fence, you think of this fence. It's about this tall, but it's the, like the picket fence looking one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I don't have that fence. Ah! Is it for sale right now? Let me see. I I really neglect this character. I really do. What else do I want to add to the farm area? So many things. I don't have it. Shoot. Okay. We'll improvise. I did... Listen, I cursed myself. I did say... That three fences was a lot of different types of fences in one area. The, yes, thank you. The simple wooden fence. I can't believe I don't have the recipe for that. <sighs> Dumb. Fine. You can mail me some? That's okay. It's. It might be better what we end up doing instead. We'll see. What I was going to do, I was going to make a pen because I wanted some animals on the farm. I thought, oh, wouldn't it be fun? If there was animals, how do you get the farm? So or the ABD? So that 
that place I was just at, the Nook Stop, inside Resident Services, you can buy the ABD for Nook Miles. So it's just one of the items that's for sale in there. Okay, I can't, I've said this a hundred times, I can't dig up flowers yet until I start placing some stuff down, like getting it out of my inventory. So let me put down just some of our vehicle related items to start seeing where those might look. Um, so we have the cruiser bike. Okay, which actually I might just put that by Marshall's house. Like maybe Marshall rides the bike into town. That's like a really nice way to fill in that gap, you know, just put something like that. All right, and then there's the scooter. And there's also this bus stop, this retro bus stop. Res retro transportation stop. So I was kind of wondering what this would look like. Tucked over here. And it's a little bit... I don't really like it facing away from the camera, if I'm if I'm being totally honest. What if you know how I said I wasn't sure about these fences? Let me try this instead. What if we put this here? I guess it, I guess it's a little bigger than that. Am I sure I can't put a fence next to that? This seems weird. Oh, really? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it fits. And then what if it actually was like that? Hmm. I like that a little bit better. It does make Marshall's house feel because of the posters on the back, like junked up, which is actually kind of funny. I want this place to look a little bit junked up. So that's, this is appealing to me, I think. Is Lucky a good villager? I think so, I think people really like Lucky. I don't know where to park the scooter. Let's Let's put it over here. We might not even use it, but let me see. Wow. I always thought the scooter was at an angle, but it, no, it sits straight on. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if the scooter stays. I'm just getting it out of my pockets for now. Let's just say that. There's also a gas pump, which I'm probably not going to use. There's an after generator. I don't know where I would put it. And then there's the big tanks too. Here. Okay. I got an idea. So let me, let's just drop this and drop this. Let's take the tanks and put them over here. So we have these like awkward spots by the beach. I never know what to do with them. So what if we put, what are you doing? Okay, these things are bigger than I thought. Um, so what if we put these big tanks? behind Coco's house. Come on, tank. They, they might obstruct the view a little bit. <laughs> They're gold. Tonk. <laughs> um... I like them. I just gotta, I don't know if that's their permanent home. Okay, and then windmill, oh yes. So I was gonna say, there, there's some there's some items that I, I want to use really bad that are just not gold. So what I did instead is I rusted them up a little bit. So we have this windmill, and I thought it'd be kind of cool as like something in the background, you know, something really old. And we got the milk can, and like we can put that kind of nearby the windmill, you know. And then there's also I I gotta go grab it. 
what's it called? It's a water pump. Your own's random core? That's okay. We call that norm core. <laughs> when the island doesn't have a theme and it's just, you know, this spot is this and that spot is that and I like it. Where is my pump, water pump? There it is. So I, I got this one all rusted up too. Rosé, we'll see you later. I don't like how it's facing the milk jug like that. That's kind of, that's weird to me. What if it, okay, I guess that's fine. Sort of. I don't know. We'll put them there for now. I might I might play with that a little bit more, too. Ugh. Okay. There's so many things. So, and then we got the stacked bags and the hand cart, which... I don't know where these are going to go, but they fit. They fit on this theme. I just have to... Oops. I just have to put them over here for now, I think, in the corner. So, let's put our hand cart down. And let's put our stacked bags beside it. Maybe these two items will kind of be married to each other. Because... You know, you would dump your bag of fertilizer into the cart, right? Michael, thank you for the donation. Much appreciated. You're awesome. My goodness, we're getting so close. So close to our goal. All right. Good. So I, I liberated my inventory space, and now we can we can kind of go grab the stuff we were trying to get. Which I think one of the things I was trying to do is move all these flowers. One way or another, I need to make some decisions about what's growing in this in this spot. Yeah, wheat is uh, definitely one of the big crops. I think. Oh my gosh. We just got a $145 donation from, oh no, Tar, Tar UV? I'm so sorry. I cannot pronounce your name, but thank you so much. Oh my, I need to make you a flag. Flag break. We have Cam and we have Taruvi, which I'm, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Oh, wait, that hit the goal. You're right. There we go. I can't believe that. $2,000. Thanks, everybody. That's just so generous. I cannot believe yesterday we hit the goal really quickly. And then today, I I said it again, modest, knowing that we raised so much money yesterday. I'm like, I'm, I'm hoping we can raise a bit more. And then we already hit it. Unbelievable. So uh, for anyone wondering... This fundraiser, I extended the, the time on it, so it's going to run throughout the week until I think... It's either going to run until Friday or all day Friday. I can't remember which I set it to. Um, and from that point, we'll figure out if we want to do this again in the future, maybe a week or two from now, um, we'll we'll figure out a new goal and, and stuff like that. But I I know things are things are bad right now, and it's just so awesome that you guys are able to share some support. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so every time we get at least $25, I, I make a very silly flag. Yesterday it was shirts, today it's flags. And right now we're making one for Cam. Um, and Cam had a picture of a cat as a profile picture. And so I thought this, this one's easy because we just have to draw a cat that's into cameras. So this cat is going to be orange. Your cat is gray, though, actually. So I'm actually going to make the cat gray. Make it resemble reality. All right. So so this is your cat. Um, let me move in a little bit here. Okay. Okay. 
perfect. All right. So that's your cat. This is what cats look like. Something like that. And then... Hmm. Can I get a flag if I've gotten a shirt? If not, that's fine. Uh, yes, that's one of the reasons I picked flags, in case someone from yesterday decided to donate again today. So that way it would at least be a little bit different. Um, okay, and then I gotta draw a camera, which I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident in my cat drawing abilities. Like, watch this. Like, look at these ears. Look at that. You've never seen a cat with such ears, probably. Levi Ghost, that was twenty dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you anyway though, because of all of your anonymous donations from yesterday. Thank you. Alright, yes. We've spent enough time on the cat. Now it's camera time. Uh what was like an old school camera look like? Hmm. Okay, I know. So it's just going to be like... It has super sensitive hearing. It's going to be like a box. Like this. Okay. That's where all of your, your memory cards and things go. Batteries. And then it's going to have, uh, you know, the lens. Which is going to be... Uh, like that. There we go. That's kind of like a camera, and it's on a little uh, uh, tripod thing. Except it's a tripod with two legs. Two janky legs. All right. And then uh, we got to put some buttons on it so you can actually use it. All right, something like that. Oh, maybe a little record light. Oh, I'm so bad at this. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got to give you some eyes. Can't really run a camera without some eyes. And then, oh, all, all of the cats around here have their, their tongue kind of sticking out. Uh, yours is just kind of flopping down. Um, actually, that's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, there we go. And oh, your cat needs a tail too. Um, it's kind of it's kind of on the edge of the flag, so maybe it just kind of curls around. There we go. This is awesome. So, Cam, there's you know the camera is the representation for your name, and the cat is the profile picture. It's perfect. Oh, I forgot again to do the other side. There it is. I'll fix the... I'll, I'll make it double-sided. All right. Copy. Don't flip and copy. That's not... You know what? I kind of like that, actually. <laughs> I'm going to keep it that way. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Uh, so we got a $145 donation from Tar Taruvi. I'm, I'm just so sorry about not being able to pronounce your name. T-A-R-R-U-V-I. Okay. And we're going to make... A flag for you as well. I think for you, it's obvious what we need to do. I think everybody knows what needs to be done with this flag. Um, so here we go. We're gonna we're gonna grab the green, green. Oh, I need to use the fill all tool. I forgot. Okay. We got to get some gold going on the actual, you know, stem of the flag or whatever you want to call that. And I'll, I'll make that a little more 
gold like. There we go. Something like that. Alrighty. And we'll go to the front. And we'll get our pen. I might need I might need a brighter Will you cut it out? Keep editing. Uh No, this will work. Perfect. All right, let's go back around. That this S is all messed up. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. I was just going to make sure that mathed out properly. Except it doesn't. It doesn't! Shoot. Fine. We'll... Uh, we'll just make it one wide. It's a five. Listen. It's pixels, okay? It's hard. <laughs> what I'll do is I will try to shape it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, I'm not done. Uh, we got to do two things. We need to center it in the middle a little bit better. Something like that. And then we need gold coins. Raining down. Look at this. Look at this masterpiece. Excellent. It's perfect. All right. Oh, and then we just got to flip it. Ah. Nintendo, why? Let me go back. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Okay. We got your name in there. Let me just go back and flip it around, and then it'll be done. <sighs> I, I did it again. I hit the start button again. I literally hate this. <laughs> Why? Why did they do it that way? All I'm trying to do is press the X button. There. Okay. Copy. Done. There. Now now you're done, flag. You're good. Okay. There we go. Next up, we got Levi Ghost, and then we can get back to uh, farming. So, what did we do for you yesterday? We did, we did a shirt... We did this thing, Levi Goes 2.0. So now we just need to make a flag version of that. That's easy. That's going to be super easy. I'm not even worried or scared. All right, all we got to do, I almost hit the start button again, uh, is grab our color here and our fill all tool. All right. And on the front, we'll get our pen. Oh, right. We were going to make the color palette a little bit darker. All right. And we got to draw the ghost. So I did this last time. 
And the way I did it is I started at the bottom. So you know all the ripped nonsense that it, that's the bottom of a ghost? That's what all that is just now, okay? And so then we came around and we just kind of drew the top. All right, there. It's perfect. And then we filled it in like that. Actually, I kind of like that one stray dot. Maybe we can like make a couple of like, well, that's fine. A little chunk taken out of there. A little chunk taken out of there. Okay. Perfect. We got to give you some eyes. So we got one here and one here. Yeah. I mean, I think it's good. Levi Ghost. Thank you once again, Levi. Oh, I forgot the other side. There's always something with flags, isn't there? There's, it's either me pushing the button too soon or forgetting. Don't display. Oh, my gosh. It never ends. My frustration with the design tools in this game literally never end. This is just how it's going to be forever. There. All right. Uh, Artist Turn, thank you for your very kind donation. Appreciate that. That was that was a lot of designing I just did. So I need to get back to scooping up flowers and trying to remember what the heck I was doing. I don't think all these flowers make the final cut. But I should save them for now just in case. I won't sell them until I'm like determined to uh, commit to less flowers. Do I need simple wooden, fen simple wooden fencing? No, I think I'm good. I think if I, if I need it that bad, I can always grab it from my other character. Um, I don't think I do though. Go grab the others. <sighs> Ooh, you know what? We have some room over the river, too. I don't exactly know what to put over there, but it's, it's probably going to be part of the scenery for the farm. Hello, balloon. Yeah, everyone uses the beaches for flowers. I love it. It's just a universal fact about Animal Crossing players. We all agreed on that. Um, <laughs> let's see. Hawaiian print apron. It's something we all agreed on, agreed on without ever meeting about it. No, uh, Artist Turn, thank you for uh, giving $10. Thanks for giving anything. Appreciate it. Much appreciate it. Sound like Kit from Nintendo Minute? I hadn't heard that one before. They, didn't they start a new thing, too? Tick Towel, how's it going? Welcome. Oh, geez, of course, the last flower doesn't fit in my pockets. That's fine. Whatever, flower. I'll be back for you. Don't think you got away. You stash them behind cliffs. That's a good way to forget about them forever, though. All 
right. We got that one more stray flower. It really is the odd one out. It's not going to fit in with our little pattern we've made. Okay. All right, let me go up to the nooks here. I need to reset my brain after all that flower digging. And let me buy some customization kits. Do we have money? Yeah, we got money. If nooks were to close before I got my customization kits, I'd be real upset. All right. I'm new here too. How long have you guys been in here? How long have you guys been in here? I, do you mean how long the stream has been? It's been almost an hour and a half. Welcome to everyone who's new. Let's see. All right. We need more customization kits. No flowers on my beach. I get rid of them right away. <laughs> Already survived a flower overrun. Yeah, there's there's always that issue with flowers where you need, you know, you want to do your hybrids, and so you got to figure out a place to put them. I actually do have night owl ordinance, so yeah, I guess I'm not at too much of a risk. I did forget that. I was thinking that we were getting close to that being closed, but no, we're actually not. You're right. But yeah, once I once I was set with my flowers, once I was like happy with the amount of flowers that I had and all the different colors and varieties. My other island, I dumped all the rest. It's the only thing you can do. Okay. I said not to buy those. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but... I already made a trip to Cyrus, and I need to do a lot of, uh, you know, custom builds. And all of the things that you can customize that are craftable have all their customizations that are just done through customization kits just fine. So I will just slum it today using those. Did you miss the festival? No, uh, the festival wasn't today. Or yesterday. It's not yet. This is on the 15th? That's not accurate. I forgot what day it is. It's on the bulletin board, though. Okay, there we go. It's on the 28th. Yes, that's correct. That sounds right. Monday. Okay, Island Designer. Okay, cool. Let's assume that I still want all of the crops right up against the path like they are. And uh, let's try and figure out how far back I would need to draw these lines. Let's see. I actually think that's as far back as I can go because I want to put some stuff here and we already have the tanks we might want to stick here. So, yeah. You expect to be on the weekend? Uh, yeah, it is kind of interesting that it's on a Monday. But I think it's just because it's... Is that the last day of the month? I think that's probably why. So it's going to move around every year. In terms of the weekday it's on. Alright. Now, let's erase some of these.
I don't know how many. <laughs> but some. 28th is the end. Yeah. So that's probably why. It'll always be on the last day of the month. I don't know what I'm going to do with this space exactly yet, but I am, I'm pretty glad brown sugar has it going. I'm pretty glad that we moved this back. All right. This is already looking better though. I like this. Let's figure out some of the other items we want to play with. And I don't know what I'm going to plant yet or how many of it I'm going to plant, but I think we've determined the actual you know, s size of the farm plots themselves. The other thing I need to determine is where, and I want to put it somewhere, but where I'm going to put the wheat, um, not not the one you plant, but the, the wheat item. I'm starting to order a bunch of those. I'm kind of wondering what if it lined the farm or what maybe what if it was just back here by the river. I don't know. I want it somewhere, though. A little patch of it, at least. Or maybe it maybe once I'm done growing flowers, I just convert everything to that. Find out. So that's a generator. Okay, that's the gas pump. I don't really need that stuff. You know what we need is all the crafting materials. We gotta start crafting stuff. That's what I'm missing. I think I was I told myself at the beginning of the night I need to craft a bunch of stuff. So let me grab, I don't know anything. Where's my, where's my crafting supplies? Here we go. Some of that, some of that. I think I already have iron. Let's grab clay and should I grab gold nuggets? I don't know. I guess, I guess we might need to use them for something and then sticks. And then probably a stack of weeds would help. Boy, my inventory is very full. <laughs> Let's put some stuff away. We don't need seven stray customization kits. We probably don't need the orange jelly. I see a balloon back there. All right. Uh... What do I do about this? <sighs> it got eaten by the pumpkins or something. Dang it. Oh well. I guess it counts towards my goal of popping, what, is it 300 balloons? I guess it counts towards that. Oh, the grain silo. Where am I going? I was going to craft something. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of the apron. I will get rid of the fences for now. Yeah, silos. Yeah, we got to do silo for sure. Let's do that. Let's do a whole bunch of stuff. So I think, I mean, every good farm needs a butter churn. Storage shed is something you can order for Nook Miles. You can order the recipe for, for one that you can craft. And then you can order the, an actual storage shed as well, like the one I'm standing next to. So there's a couple ways to get that. Like this one, the wooden storage shed you can craft. I think you got to order that recipe for Nook Miles. I'm going to make some wooden boxes because these are just perfect. You fell asleep at your computer? Oh, no. <laughs>
There's the silo. What else? Probably a whole bunch of stuff that would work. Just trying to decide what I want. I can always come back. Yeah, we might come back, because now we're in all the weird, goofy stuff. You know, it is strange, though, that these very normal items are down here with all the all the weird stuff. Oh, I do have the I have the, the turnip barrel that's open. That's cool. I think maybe my other character... My other character has the one that's closed? All right, anyway. Good to know I have that. It's not customizable, which is unfortunate. Okay. Oh, you know what it is? All the other stuff we crafted. Chelsea, I'm doing good. How are you? What can we do with the butter churn? Oh, yeah, natural wood. Scarecrow? Oh, yeah, scarecrow would have been good. Can always come back. The wooden boxes are awesome. The only thing is I gotta decide what flavor of wooden box I want and then what's inside them. So I think I think I want I think I need to go like dark brown. And we'll put some maybe different labels on them and stuff. Give them that character. I thought about white to match the pergola. That's why I stopped on white for a second. But all the other stuff on the farm that's going to be made of wood is probably going to be made of dark brown wood. So I can always tie in the pergola with some other stuff. But yeah, it's a good call. Money shipment. Perfect. I don't know where these are going, but I have them now, so that's good. Where can the silo go? Now I'm wondering if the silo should go over here where the windmill stuff is. Oh, we didn't customize it, did we? Ah, shoot. We gotta customize the silo. Hmm. We could do white. The blue would not work with anything. This green and dark brown might be the next choice because there's going to be a lot of dark brown stuff on the farm. And green, the dark green can go with the grass. I mean, it could just it could just fit in. This one I think is the most neutral. Let's try this one. The pink one's cool, but yeah, I don't really know what to do with that either. Okay. Where do we think the silo fits? Let's see. Cuz it's kind of it's kind of something you keep like this, right? Like off in the distance, but I don't know if I like it next to that path. Let's let's see how distracting it is. Um Not much. It's not too bad. Patricia, we'll see you later. Hmm. Part of me wonders what it would look like by the tractor and all this stuff. 
I gotta try it over here. I actually think this is a good spot for it. Where'd it go? <laughs> Milk can, water pump, windmill, silo. Mari Edits, how's it going? Alright, so we got the silo. We can put down the water pump next to it, maybe. It doesn't make the most sense, but it works, you know. It's kind of a rustic looking thing. Where could the windmill go? I think the windmill should maybe find itself over here somewhere. Kind of like that. I still got this milk can too, which can go nearest to the windmill. I don't exactly know why I feel like these two items should go together. Maybe because of all the rust. And it doesn't even, I, because of the placement, like I can't even get any closer than that. So maybe it doesn't go there. We can find a place for it. Um, okay. Well, I like having it. Hmm. The other thing I'm wondering about is the crates. What if they were... Something's got to go in this corner that I'm standing in, so I'm kind of wondering, what if these little crates... We're just kind of piled up in the background here. Let me just try this real quick. I actually don't think I want that. I want this one on the bottom. Whoa, where are you going? I didn't even know it could go back there. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So that's something. That's the start of something. Um, okay. Please stop asking if I'll do a face reveal. Um, I'm, I already answered that in my Q&A on Discord. Or my FAQ, rather. Okay. And then... Oh, you know what I could do? The butter churn could go over here. Always have bad, lucks, bad luck with turnips. Yeah. Um, I, I have, like, a group of friends. We all do turnips together. So I've been pretty fortunate because I've gotten some pretty decent luck with those, thanks to that. Okay. It's a farmy looking item. It's fine there for now. Whoa, hello! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh no. I need to queue up some really sad... I guess I have this. Jeez. Stupid Emperor Butterfly. Stupid, dumb, stupid butterfly. <sighs> Great. Well, that's just awesome. Now I'm all the way back here. Ah, one sec. Okay. Yeah. At least I had a sound effect queued up and ready to go. <laughs> I 
I was going after the tarantula. That's why I got the net out, and then it missed, and it hit the emperor butterfly. Okay. <laughs> so here's here's my next struggle. I don't know if I'm super into trying to fill out this big empty space, which is where the fruit trees would come in because I did say they might go in the back. And now that I'm at this crossroads here where my farm is just getting to be like a little too much, um, maybe it's time to test out the fruit trees on the back there. So let me, what, what do we have? We have apple trees, cherry trees, pear trees, peach trees. Where are my orange trees? Do, do I not have orange trees? Wait, what? One, two, three, four. There's a, there's a fifth tree. It's orange. I don't have any. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let me grab some oranges. Should be up here, right? Oh, here we go. I dug them up at the beginning. I don't think I dug up orange trees. Because I don't have any. I I used oranges to make a meal. Alright. Anyway, that's fine. What we'll do is make some decisions about maybe where these trees end up. So how many types of trees is that, first of all? That's one, two, three, four, five five types of trees. That's an uneven number of trees, which means we have to get creative about how we display them. That's why I had them in twos before, so I can make an even number of stupid trees. Oh man. I don't like I don't like the way this is going. I think it this is going to mess everything up. No, no, I know what to do. No, I don't. Nope, that won't work either. Because of the double wide path. I was trying to center a tree. <sighs> oh, Animal Crossing. Why did you do this to us? Just joined. Looking forward to this. Gonzo, how's it going? Yeah, we're... Uh, I'm very slowly putting together a farming area. It's, it's not going smooth. Most of the builds don't, though. Most of the builds get started, and then they get finished at a later date. And that's looking like what's, what's going to happen with this one, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the heck to do about my fruit trees. I was going to put them kind of in the background, and now I've just realized that's not going to work. Because they're not going to be even, and it has to be, because symmetry. Hmm... Well, if I didn't have orange trees, because I don't, what I could do is plant one of each tree like this, right? So each fruit tree would be there. And then because oranges are like the main fruit in this on this island, maybe those could go somewhere else as like a, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Maybe they can go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. I like that. One of each tree. AC Mystery, how's it going? Another Animal Crossing YouTuber in the house. So, this is cool. Oranges can make an appearance at some point. 
But yeah. I think that's kind of nice. You got a little river back there. And you got some fruit trees. Okay. Alright. Let's go with that. Alright, with that out of the way. How about we take these tanks? Farm's looking good. Thank you. I want them a little bit more off to the side here. So, like, we could put that one there. Or what if we staggered it? I have an idea. We can put this first tank kind of like this. And then we could put the next tank in front of it, but yeah, staggered along the shoreline there. Where'd it go? Carter Crossing, how's it going? The dream address for this island is not uh, released, but I have one for my other island, which is down below. Yeah, okay. I think for the tanks, that's a little bit better. You want to, so we should at least catch another Emperor Butterfly, right? Complete the collection. If a tarantula comes out and bites me, I'm going to be real mad. <laughs> Ooh. What if we put the tractor by the tanks? Since this is where all the more modern stuff is, I think that works. That's kind of cool, right? I like that. Okay, wait a minute. Ooh, I have, I'm starting to get some ideas here. I need... You know what I need? I need some more paths. So there is a series of stone like paths that I started using. Stranger, how's it going? Um, I think someone had posted them in the Discord. I could grab those. Um, I just thought, but I need I need something here. It, we could use the other gold path too. I just feel like there should be... Well, maybe... Oh, you know what? Okay. Let me take a step back. First, we talked about making a stone path in the middle. I'm going to do that because I think that's going to change a lot of the, the whole vibe of this place. I, do, I definitely don't want to keep the brick. So first, let's do this. And then I'm going to put the stone path down under the tanks and see how I feel about that. Because I have kind of an idea of what those tanks, like the purpose they serve, is. And I think I can, I think I can pull this off. But I, yeah, I want to... I want to make that area seem a little more finished. I'm doing good, thanks for asking. Okay, so we're making... For those who are new, and I know there's some folks here who are, um, I'm Dan. Uh, this is my gold core island of Mahalo. And uh, I've not released a dream address yet. I've been working on this island very slowly over the last several months. And what it is, is a collection of items that are either gold or gold looking. They're gold looking. And uh, the whole point, it was kind of a challenge, right? Like using as many gold nuggets as I can to put together a really fancy Animal Crossing island. And... A lot of that has kind of taken a life of its own. So one of the one of the compromises I'm making right now is I really want to keep Marshall and Coco on the island. And the way I've decided to do that is to make them peasants. So they actually run the farms around here. And then all the gold core villagers are at the top in the middle there. See all those houses up there in the top middle-ish area? That's that's all where all my gold core villagers are going to live. So as you can see, I still have a few villagers that need to be moved out, shifted around, things like that. Um, but then all the way out on the right side of the island where I'm at now is where all of the farming is going to get done. What did I do to celebrate the donation goal? Uh, nothing. I We actually st we got it yesterday, and I, I raised it, and uh, now we've hit the, the goal again. I So I've thanked everyone profusely. 
That was always the plan. <laughs> and for every $25 donation tonight, I've been making really silly flags. In, in honor of the folks who have donated. Tom is back. Welcome back. Will these tanks fit in this really small area? Okay, can I put the other one right here? No room. Okay, so I think I gotta push this one. It's still on the path though. This one's kinda off the path, but that's all right. Okay. Perfect. Ish. Perfect ish. Can I? Aha. Uh -huh. All right. That's what I thought. That's okay. I just wanted the area to feel a little finished. This works for me. All right. Let's see. So there's, there's one problem. It's not really like even with anything. I think what we need to do is come out here with this. All right, then let's. Oh no! Okay, let's taper it off. Ah, oh, jeez. There we go. Okay, that'll do. Now let's go get over to the customization table. And I want to customize the tanks. And these are going to store fuel. Warning, logo, sun... No open flames. I kind of like the idea of one of them saying no open flames. Both of them are going to have fuel. Okay. So that's the logo of the fuel company, I guess. Off-brand Pepsi logo, right. All right, and the first one's gonna go over here. There we go. We'll put the other one back here. Okay, and then I was gonna take the retro gas pump and make that part of the scene here. So the tractor, this is where we come and fill up our tractor. See that? I like that. I think, I think that's awesome. Except I can't, I was gonna move the tractor but I guess that's fine. All right. Looks good. Thanks. Yeah. We can even put it all the way out there. I don't know what I would put behind it. I feel like I need to put something back here, but we can, we can always just kind of like scooch it back. Neat. All right. I don't know if I want the windmill back here, but it seems like this empty spot is begging for something. So is it the windmill? I'm not sure. Wait, let's put back our other stuff that we had been pretty okay with. We just changed the path. So it was the pergola here. And then we got the bike in front of it. 
<laughs> is it fertilizer? It may be fertilizer. Maybe. DDV, no. No, no, no. It's not like that, I promise. Look at this. We got gold. There's, there's gold on this island. But some areas, because I didn't want to, I didn't want the theme to be too repetitive. I had to make some creative choices. You haven't seen my bridge yet. You were an hour and six minutes behind, <laughs> or a minute and six minutes behind, or a minute and six seconds behind. We got gold. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, the pipes and meter. Oh, thank you. That's a great idea. Yes. There is actually a gold variety of those two. But uh, I haven't gotten that recipe yet on this character, I don't think. Let me just check. There is a gold mine for the island. You guys want to see it? I'll go over there. I'm always looking to explore. Let's see. Uh, but, 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 where all the gold stuff go? Uh huh. I don't have that, but I do have. Maybe it's a customization. Maybe I'm wrong. Where the heck is it? I have the pipes and meters. I know I do. Uh, unless that was my other character again. Maybe I played myself. Okay, well that's... Okay, another time on that then. Oh no, then we'll see you later if you're leaving. So yeah, we got a gold mine. Uh, that is down here. This is where... All of the gold comes from, originates from. It's probably still to this day one of my favorite builds we've done. I, I come back down here a lot to check the beaches, and I always kind of like take half a second to, you know, admire it. Really like the way it turned out. So, yeah. And the bridge? The bridge is constantly being worked on, I think. I need uh, some other some other bits of variety on this bridge, so I'm still kind of figuring that out, but yeah. And one of the other things I've been talking about doing is trading out these pillars and things. I have some other ideas of how I want this to look, so. We might, what's the name of the skeleton? That's Clyde. Um, we, might, we might do the pillars tonight too, because I think I'm getting to that point with my farm where I need to sleep on it. I don't know if you guys get there with your designs, but sometimes when I've been working on one area for a little too long, I can tell because I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'm at that point. I'm, I, I kind of need to rest my brain. So there's some other spots we can work on in the meantime. But there is another thing I wanted to show you guys, and the reason I've been hesitating is because I can't find a place for it, and I'm getting, like, real sad about that. Um... I had such a fun idea for a, a, a part of this build, but I don't, ugh, I don't really have the space for it, so I gotta figure that out. It doesn't really, like, I don't, I don't need it to be fenced off necessarily. I'm just trying to imagine what it would look like in this corner over here. But it's blocked by this house and that's gonna drive me bananas. Hmm. And then I could put it out here instead, but that doesn't... I mean, that's weird, right? Because the farm starts here. But then again, what goes out here? How do you join the Discord? Uh, you should just be able to click the link. You might have to make a Discord account if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, clicking the link should start you off on your journey to joining the Discord. I can't move the houses. They gotta stay where they are. <sighs> I 
what if my tanks and stuff went over here? Because then I would free up. I get an extra tile of space thanks to the way the beach comes out. And that might be like just enough to do what I'm trying to do. If we take all this stuff we just did and bring it to this side. What would that look like? Hmm. What's unfortunate is that there's not, I can't stagger the two tanks. Right? So. Young spring bamboo. Uh, so if you grow bamboo, if you have any, what you would do is you would take the bamboo and uh, you would hit it with your axe, a flimsy one so you don't cut it down. And uh, it has a chance right now while we're in that season to, to drop the young spring bamboo. What if you put the fuel tanks outside of that place since you're trying to put stuff in front of it? Because they don't, the two things we're trying to do don't go together. This would be a more farm type thing, what I'm talking about. And these tanks are more of like the refueling station for the tractor. So, yeah. And if I, if I try and stagger these, it'll run into where the crops will go. So, I don't know. I don't like the way this looks as much. Now, now my, the fruit trees have drawn my ire once again, but that's, even still, I wouldn't like that. Okay, what about, what's, what are all the sides of this? What do they look like? So we got the ladder. Okay, so all the sides of this have kind of a neat, cool looking look to them. Elise, thank you, yeah. Well, thanks to everybody here for helping us reach the goal. Okay. What if we made a stone path area right back here? So I'm rethinking this a little bit. And we, we got rid of this path. Over here in the back. It's sad that I can't get more ten, more than 10 people on the island. I don't know. Um, there was a time where I might have agreed with you. Actually, I might want this. Um, but just because of the fact that I'm having so much trouble finding room to do things, I think I'm good with the amount of villagers we have. Let me try this. I think I think we might have solved our conundrum here. So you have these two tanks like that and then uh Would the gas pump go between them? I don't think I can do that, because then I can't grow. If I put the gas pump here, is this is this tile still available to grow crops on? It is. Oh. Do I like that there, though, is the question. Not necessarily. It doesn't... Now that it's not facing the camera, it doesn't look as good. But I still like the tanks. So what we can do is we can then put the tractor right here. See, and this is better because it's kind of facing. Yeah, so it's facing the crops now. All right. See, I'm actually liking this. I think this is kind of cool. And I got my other space back. And then we walk over here, it still looks like there's something really gold over there. You're like, whoa, what the heck is going on? There's a lot going on over there, and you got to check it out. 
Okay, cool. I'm into this. I think we saved it. It's perfect. Okay. I will get rid of this path then. Question. Is there a trough? I feel like Animal Crossing should have a trough. You could work if there were the ability to room villagers with each other and choose the house design between... The oh, see, that'd be really cool. If you can move two villagers into one kind of bigger house. When you make a lot of money, but you want to do it in style. <laughs> Winter's Corner is going. I'm so happy we reached the Ukraine 2K fund goal. Yes. Yes, thanks to everybody. There's no trough, but there's a hand washing station. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't really work, but that's a good good call. I need it to look more rustic than that. Okay, don't worry about that. Uh, Yeah, like a water trough or a, you know, food trough. Don't worry, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, now I want the windmill again, and I do want it over here. Do I want it to be pushed over to the side? Kind of interesting. Okay, where's the milk container? These two items certainly did end up getting attached to each other. I still don't know exactly how. But they're, they're just kind of in the background there. Uh, we got our wooden boxes, we got hand cart, stacked bags. I think the hand cart and stacked bags are going to go over here. I could probably get even more stacked bags if I want to. Just to really like, you know, put a bunch of that stuff there. Okay. Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing for me. An outdoor fountain in the corner. An outdoor fountain. Uh, which one are you imagining? Because the fountains are all kind of an awkward size. Trough would be one, another one of those items that would contradict the anthro characters. It would, it would be, I guess, but there's a lot of those, I think. Like, where do they get milk? You know what I mean? The one that looks like a pond? Uh, I think I know which one you're talking about. It's a little big though. If I have one, it's worth a shot, but I don't know if I have one on me. <laughs> thought I did, but again, I have two different games that I'm constantly keeping up with, so I always mix up which items are where. They get their yeah, pigeon milk. Right, and we all have our thoughts about where those come from. Oh, brick well will be good, too. I found these drums today. I hadn't seen them before. Anyway. Hmm. Well, let's not worry about it. A tin bucket? Did you see a tin bucket in here? Those are always good items. Oh, the chainsaw. I meant to use this somewhere in there too, but... Now I don't know. I'm going to take this. We're going to customize that at Harv's. Ooh, uh, we got some of these planters too, these potted starter plants. Let's customize those at Harv's. Um, yeah, there's a froggy chair as well, which doesn't really go with the build, but we have it. Um...
Oh yeah, my decorative bottles. I forgot about these. I was going to junk up the yards a little bit in the front of the houses. Anyway, off to Harbs. Let's just take a quick field trip over to the Harbs Island. He's going to yell at me for wearing my hard hat. Thank you all for being here, by the way. Hope you're having a good time. Okay. We are going to... Customize things. I'm like, what are we doing here again? Yeah, I'm glad he, he's like, oh, we come back later when you've stopped designing. Like, if he had done that, that would have been really upsetting. Okay, so the recycled paper bundle is a really cool item. Uh, don't overlook this. If you see some ma magazines and you're like, I don't really need magazines, like, don't overlook this because you get these really cool rustic-looking newspapers. And uh, there's some just different comics. Like, this item shapeshifts into a lot of cool stuff. So I wanted to get some newspaper. Wait, maybe the cow villagers produce and sell milk secretly. See, that's the thing. Like, do you do you really do you really want that? <laughs> oh, interesting. So the closest I can get to gold is this one. <laughs> um. Okay, we'll just leave them black. Yeah, it's an awesome item. Recycled pa paper bundle for the win. I already did my decorative bottles. Okay, so yeah, it was the recycled paper bundle and then potted plant starters that I wanted to customize. Am I gonna live stream during the festival? Um, if that's on a Monday, then uh, no, probably not. Uh, I wouldn't normally stream on Monday. But I will play it, you know, get everything I need from it. It's a pretty good event. I don't have nearly enough of uh, these lamps, too. Timmy and Tommy have been holding out on me. I think my other character is a bunch, so that's good. That's lucky. But I like having those. They're one of my favorites from that whole um, event. Hmm. I'm just making sure before I leave there's no other items that I'm going to want to like put out. Clearly I need to make some purchases. Alright, let's go. Tomorrow I have a whole bunch of that wheat coming in. stuff the item people use to make the wheat fields but at some point I'm probably going to grow actual wheat too so that item will take up some space and then 
Yeah, I feel like there's just some odds and ends in terms of farming items. Mid last year, I spent around 300000 on the festival reactions because I visited someone's island and offered them that much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I got the reactions as soon as they were available. So I have those now on this character. New subscriber, love watching your shorts. We love AG. Thank you. I appreciate that very, very much. Well, uh, these live streams are generally how they get made. Not tonight, of course. Tonight it's pretty chill. Uh, from last night's stream, I have some. I've already started editing those together. Do I time travel? Uh, no, not typically. Uh, on this character, I've only done it for villager hunts. And on my other character, I'm very purist about it. I will never time travel on that character for any reason ever. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really much of a time traveler. If we do another villager hunt in the future for, like, Goldie or something, I expect we'll have to. Um, all right, so the last decision I'm trying to make about the space here that we've we've freed up is do I want to get rid of just some of these tiles that have been designated for farming so that I can, like, set up the area I want to set up? I just don't think it's very necessary. If you see what I'm going to do, you'll probably agree. What I'm going to do, I might as well tell you. I've been kind of holding out on you. Um... Oh, my inventory is so full, though. Okay, we don't need the crafting materials. Let me put those away and I can show you. Am I streaming tomorrow? Probably not. I gotta edit tomorrow. I usually... Sundays, all my channels t tend to go dark. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I gotta schedule some posts. Oh, boy. I have some fun posts planned for the community tab. Uh... Boom. Yeah, Butch is still here. I'm, I'm gonna find an opportunity to kick him. He's still here for now. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. What I want to do, because it's a farm, is I want to tank my oinkoids, and I want to make a little spot for them. I was going to fence them in, but because I've basically run out of space, we're going to have, I guess, free-range oinkoids. We're going to trust them not to leave. Basically. Um, so I was going to see all the different colors we have for oinkoids. Uh, we, have, we have gold ones, which is very, very awesome. And I have a choice. I can either make them different color, different versions of pink. Like there's this one. This one kind of works too. And then there's this one. So like I can make little pink ones or I can make them all gold. Since I don't have like that much gold stuff in this place. So I think golden oinkoids are the way to go. Free range golden oinkoids. There is a golden piggy bank, but they're not nearly as animated as the oinkoids. And plus, people will troll me by like putting bells in them all the time, and I'll never know which one has how many bells in it, and that'll be annoying. See, that's what I was going to make. I was going to make them a little pig pen, but I just don't have the. I don't have the space. Watching you on the TV. Thank you. Thank you for uh, lurking. Thanks for being here. Uh, appreciate that, Maddie. All right. So this is where I'm going to scatter my free range oinkoids. So let's just start by putting them down in no particular order. All right. So what I was gonna do I was thinking like you'd have you'd have them facing different directions. Um, you know they're just kind of enjoying enjoying life really. Uh, let's see, this one can be, like, down here. Uh, 
This one can be like in a little bit. Uh, it's hard to make these look random. You know what I mean? I feel like I need another one. <laughs> Kind of shove this one a little bit closer to its friends, like that. Yeah. There we go. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it'd be cuter if they were in more places around the farm instead of just in one area. But we'll have them there for now, and I can always move them around a little bit. All right, let's do a couple things to the front yards here. I am running low on items, but uh, I thought it'd be kind of funny if, like, the yards were... I, I don't want to say trashed, but definitely, like, not kept up super well. Let's go with... Maybe this wooden box right there. Or, let's see, how, how many, I don't know how many tiles I have to play with here. Excited for the festival? Yeah, we can kind of do that, and then put that there, except it's facing the wrong way. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> Fine. Junk core? I guess so. So this is Coco's house, and uh, another recycled papers. Let's do some potted plants. Actually, I want them to face the other way. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like that. Why don't I make longer videos? Uh, longer videos take a longer time. <laughs> Basically. Uh, so, I found a way that kind of works for me. These end up being, you know, three, sometimes four hours long. And uh, I kind of figured that's, that's my long video, is the live stream. Toka just joined. Welcome. The box is where Tom keeps his evil plans on how to get more money. Yeah, Coco has it. I don't know how. I don't know why, but uh, I don't think you're wrong. I think the bottles are a nice touch, but they're just a little bit blocked by the fence. These are different bottles. I don't know why I can't pull them in either. That's weird. Uh, I guess that's fine. We'll just leave the bottles there. Uh, the recycled paper. Now I wish I had another box. I might need to go make another box. Can I put... I can't stack three items on top of each other. That would be cool, though. Yeah, I can put it back here. Let's go see if we can craft something. I know I don't have any supplies on me, but I just want to see if there's a good item for, you know, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, I, I want to put these papers on top of something. There's a barrel, but I don't know, I don't really want to use a barrel. 
These things are really versatile. And the wooden field sign, field sign might be kind of cool too. Okay. Oh, scattered papers. Ooh. That's going to take a document stack. Okay, favorite villager species? I don't know, maybe cats. Maybe bears. Squirrels. Squirrels are cool. Ducks. I like the ducks. Um, maybe one of those. Or maybe not. What was I getting? Oh, supplies. I want to at least make that field sign. I don't know if I'll use a wooden box as a table, but the field sign's cool, so at least we'll have that. I've never used this item. I also don't know if I've seen it used. There's a lot of signs. Oh, wait, you can put a custom, oh wow, oh what a weird item, okay, uh, I can't really tell what these look like on it when it's like this, but I guess I get the gist. Interesting. Huh. Match the front, or you can... Okay, I see. This kind of looks like... A, a company that would sell gasoline. <laughs> Maybe we'll try it. Great that you could do both sides. I mean, it's kind of cool, yeah. It's an interesting sign. Um, it, it doesn't have a home. I thought I had more room than this. I do not. How big is it? It's significant. It's a pretty significant little sign. Huh. Well, I'll keep it. I don't think I'm going to use it, but I'll keep it. <laughs> All right. Well, never mind. Let's just put the documents on the ground here. Those kind of add to the, the junkiness of, of Coco's yard. We'll just go there for now. Maybe Coco has a paper route. And has to borrow Marshall's bike. Huh. All right. Well, cool. That's that's coming along pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down, this build, and we're gonna go do something else that I was talking about earlier. Because I need I need to step away from the farm for a bit. Uh, what I gotta do first, though, is decide another thing, and that is. Out of all gold items I can craft, what would make the most sense to put on little pedestals? I don't think these can go on top of stuff, but that would look pretty cool. Gold watch, gold candles, gold piggy banks, bunnies. Huh. Golden Dung Beetle. I guess technically King Tut Masks. Hmm. Oh, there's gold bars, of course. 
Yeah, gold piggy banks, maybe. Nice cream, how's it going? Welcome back. Oh, what about Celeste items? Is it just the scale? I don't think I can make that many scales. I guess there's a scorpion lamp too. The golden dung beetle is always a fun item to, to use. And gold piggy banks would be a fun E item to use. Gold bars would be a lavish item to use, which I kind of like. The King Tut masks could look pretty cool. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. They cost five gold nuggets a piece. Let's make a King Tut mask. And we'll try it. If we like it, we'll make three more. All right. Since we're shifting gears, let me reorganize my inventory. Okay. Uh, we don't need these either. Okay. So we got our gold nuggets. We got our King Tut mask. We got our trees we're probably just going to sell. And then let's grab our pedestals. I decided with these to go, uh, where are they? Hold on. Uh, the light, the lighted display stands. I decided with these to go light wood because it was the closest to gold, but I might, I might change them depending on how they look. I actually am pretty confident I'm going to end up changing them because the other thing I decided to do since we can is I'm going to replace those trees I showed you with these great statues which are black and gold and they're on white pedestals I should make a gold mine I did make a gold mine uh, Lauren I, I will show you real quick because I love showing off the gold mine and I don't want you to be disappointed so the gold mine is right over here and again probably one of my favorite builds in general of all the Animal Crossing New Horizons I've played, this one's still probably my favorite. I like it a lot. All right, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go to Harv's. I'm gonna change the display stands. I can already tell you if I keep them the light wood color, I'm not going to like it. I think this will be my last trip to Harv's, though, for the night. Okay, here we go. Whew. We're getting a lot done. I'm liking how the farm's turning out. I'm glad we're getting this uh, area of the bridge done. We got some decisions to make here. So this is the light wood one. There's dark wood, there's black, there's white, and there's gray. I think black might be the best bet because the statue is black and gold. So I'm going to go black. It'll actually have all the colors of the statue because the statue is black and gold and it's on a white pedestal. So I'm going to have a gold thing on top of the black stand and there's a white light under it. So everything... Yeah, these will match really well, actually. The only other thing I'm worried about... Oh, shoot. I need to go get some money. The only other thing I'm worried about with this uh, stand that I've chosen is the light. 
I'm hoping it looks good. I chose it because I thought it was really cool that it lit up underneath. But what if I don't like it? I don't know. Bunch of different theme themes when you restart. You're restarting your island. Oh no. I always warn folks, if you're going to restart, just remember... It's going to take you a really long time. Um, some people just use Treasure Islands, and that's fine. But if you're not using Treasure Islands, it's going to take you a really long time to get back all of your recipes. you got to do your museum. I mean, the game is meant to take like a year, a real human year to complete. At, and that's if you're like booking it. So just something to keep in mind. I'm always a fan of flattening. And especially if you're doing your section, or your island in different themes, in different sections... I would just flatten a whole section and decorate it the way you want and then continue to flatten sections until you've basically reset it that way. That's always my advice to folks who play like I do, whereby you don't time travel and you don't um, do treasure islands and things like that. Yeah, if you're time traveling, it's a different story. Right now it's urban, and next I have in my queue a rural town and a jungle. Oh, wow. That sounds really cool. Oh, I see. So maybe you're redoing the island, and then you're... I see. You're doing the whole island as a certain way, then redoing it again. I got you. Okay. Well, that sounds fun. Got all my display stands done, I hope. I might have missed one, knowing me. But that's okay. We're going to need to get our terraforming tools out. Let me just do that now before I forget. Yeah, I I don't know if I would restart. I mean, I got this island expecting to to be that guy with this one. Like, once it was finished, enjoy it for a bit, and then restart. I don't think I would do that now. Oh, right, I need a pole vault. I don't know what I'll do, but probably not that. There we go. That's not what I meant. Restarted twice because old islands were bad. Still miss my favorites. Yeah, I just I couldn't do it. All right. Goodbye, tree. Here's what we'll do. We're going to make our way over to that um, post over there. Except I needed to use the waterscaping tool. I guess we're going this way. Alright, and then we will use the other one to make a little cliff edge. Pop up here, grab this pillar, put down the display stand. Looking good. Do we want the label to face out? I don't, I don't think I do. Yeah, I think it looks better if it's hidden. Okay, so we're going to hide the label. We're going to do that, and then we're going to put... I have to do this very precisely. Place the King Tut mask. It'll face me. Then if I do that, the label is hidden. The King Tut mask is facing the correct way. All right. And let's tear it down and see how we like it from the bridge. I'm using the wrong tool. 
There we go. Yeah, the label's kind of distracting. All right. Oh. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this. It kind of looks cool from back here. Hmm. Well, it's interesting. It kind of makes me wish <laughs> that uh, the the dirt pillar wasn't so dirt looking. Huh. What these pillars do, because they're really tall, is they distract from the fact that they're sitting on a really ugly dirt pillar. And what that does is draws my attention to it. Fire torch... Fire torch? I don't know if that's very gold core. The glow beneath makes it terrifying. I do like I like that aspect of it. Black decorative pillars. I just wanted to put something gold up there. That's the thing. That's why I chose these, because I thought they would display a cool gold item. And that's what, that's what the whole island's about. Gold stuff, you know? So it's important to me that something gold go up there. And we don't have any, well, the only gold pillars we have are the ones that go in your house, and that doesn't work. So I don't know, I don't think there's any other pillars. See, like, this one couldn't go outside. And I wouldn't want it to, because it's just... <laughs> So boring looking, you know? So I need... It could be these guys, you know? Can't you put things on top of the decorative pillars too? That's true. You're right. I could put... Using the decorative pillars, I could do that. Or what if I just did these guys? just standing up there without being on top of anything. That might be better. You could extend the bottom layer and put simple panels around it. Uh, I don't know if I have that much room. It might take up too much of the water and then I won't like that. Oh, wait, let me get my armor. Let me get my armor. I think I have some extra armor. Yeah, I got two. You know, the custom design face cutouts, but again, like I'd have to add land underneath the pillar and I don't want to do that. Because it's so close to this thing already. Oops. I'm always using the wrong thing. Well, I'm glad I didn't make four King Tut masks. I have a bad habit of committing to things before I've even seen them. In Animal Crossing, I mean. I think the gold armor is going to be the ticket. I don't think you can go wrong with this item. I think having them face the bridge or face out. That's what I'm trying to decide now. Um, let's face them out. Okay, I think this will look good. I 
Yeah, that was the other thing. It's funny you say that nice cream. Like, I, I was thinking if I don't like anything that goes on these pillars, I could just get rid of the pillars and just leave the, the center pieces, which are going to be, in this case, uh, no, no, this. Great statues. But they are going to face in like that. I hear a balloon. You think they look nicer facing the bridge? No, yeah, let's see. Let's check it out. Oh, there it goes. Uh, you know what? It's blue anyway. It's probably just got some clay in it or something. All right. Yeah, so... Facing the bridge wouldn't be a bad thing just because the great statue is. I do I do enjoy the great statue there. I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> Never mind that looks majestic. Yeah, I'm pretty in, I'm pretty into what's going on here. The only other thing that I'm trying to think about here is how much, so how much space does this guy take up? Like, is this, is this a four tile man? Is that what we're looking at? Because I'm kind of wondering if I can make, you, you see the area that I'm looking at. The, where he's standing. I'm kind of wondering if I can raise him up to the next tier of existence and then put him on a, a, a you know, a raised pedestal. Hey, Nora, how's it going? That's a bigger job, but I think it would look kind of cool. But then again, when you were over here, like we can kind of see him from over here. If he was up any higher, we wouldn't be able to like, he you know he'd be looking way over us. Right now he's eye level with the bridge, and that is kind of cool. Okay, let's do that. Let's leave that. I'm kind of thinking the knights should face the bridge, just as just as the the big statue is facing the bridge. Yeah, lovely. I, I think I think we're both on the same page. There, uh, he'd be a little too high up. I think. Oops. Okay, here. Let's waterscape our way back over and just spin the knight around. And then we'll put down the other one. And then we'll go make two more. Yuki, how's it going? Okay. Shoot, wait. I'm not ready. There we go. Bailey, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome, everybody. We're working on our gold core bridge at the moment. Spent some time on our farm. I made some, uh, some flags for folks who donated a whole bunch of money. To the cause, and then uh, yeah, now we're working on the bridge. I don't know how you spend so much time on this. I would have already left the game. <laughs> I don't know. It's just you know what helps me. I was thinking about this the other day. Um, like why why am I able to play for so long? Because sometimes I do play for like a little bit. And then I put it down for a while. Um, what helps me, and this kind of works in real life for me too, uh, and it sucks because we haven't really had any visitors with everything going on, um, but in real life, if I need to clean my house and I know I have company coming over, I'm very likely to do a very good job cleaning my house very quickly. 
However, in Animal Crossing, I've found that's translated. So if I'm going to have friends over for any reason, then I want to clean up my island. I want to make it look as finished as I can. So like one time, for example, I had a, uh, a fun tournament with some friends. I think it was... I think it was on someone's live stream for that. I think it was Liss's live stream. Um, I set up this whole mini game over here. So I spent an afternoon building this whole thing out. But at the same time, there were parts of the island that I kind of like finished as well. And just, you know, tried to make it look as complete as I could because I knew people were coming over. So I guess if you're looking for a way to kind of motivate yourself to finish projects you've started, that could be something. It wouldn't work for everyone, I think, but that might be a thing, because it worked for me. <laughs> My wife calls that company ready. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it. So if I'm if I need to clean the house and I'm like thinking, you know, no one's coming over, it's just not likely I'm going to do a very good job. How long is the stream going? Hey, Monica. Uh, about three hours. Which, as you know with me, is usually my limit. But I have more stuff I want to do, so I'm just kind of, you know... I'm letting my eyelids decide how much longer I can keep going. I think, I think so far they're allowing it. Where is the plate armor? <laughs> when I need to tidy up my room, I invite a friend over and then I'm able to get it done. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh, oh, there it is. I was going to say, maybe I haven't unlocked it yet, but I do. I have it. So should I pretend I'm having people over my island? Yes. Or really do it. Like, nothing's more motivating than actually having the plan set, right? So, like, throw a party or something... You know, and then hype it up to if you want to really get something done, like tell your friends like you're preparing, you know, mini games like a racetrack around your island and stuff like that. Like give yourself a whole bunch of work. <laughs> that's that's one way you can do it. But just, uh, you know, make sure you give yourself adequate time to finish all that. Who do you invite? I don't know. Someone from, from Nukazan, if you don't know anyone, I guess. Yeah, I like th I like this. This is cool. I like the armor and the statues. Yeah, playing a bunch of Nukazan giveaways. There you go. Thursday, I got a fever and some allergies. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, maybe don't invite anyone over. Okay, great statue. Let's put that down. Center him up. Spin him around. There we go. Okay. Perfect. I'll pretend that if I don't work on my island, Nintendo will delete it. <laughs> yeah. Well. Anyway, if uh, maybe that maybe that helps somebody out there. I uh, I've been using that as like one of the ways. Cause here's the thing: like every week, my friends and I buy turnips, right? And so we have our our turnip trades that we do, and most any week, unless I already had a large spike my island could be next my island could be the one that everyone has to come to to sell their turnips and so there'll be times where i'm like oh i started that project i really want to finish it you know and i find myself playing for hours and and when you have to make that many decisions in a short amount of time suddenly you find oh wow this is actually like why did i put this off for so long like you know i could put this here and that there oh it looks great 
Jumpy Mushroom, how's it going? And YouTube V, how's it going? Do I? I I did make two gold suits of armor, right? I hope I did. <laughs> no insider trading. Gotta get ahead somehow. All right. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Ah, I'm glad I finally finished this. Oh, this looks so much better. Way more gold core. That's the wrong shovel. Oh, darn it. You want to submit the island for the tour stream? That's been the motivation? Oh, that's, there you go. That's good motivation. And you can always submit it on the Discord, too. If the tour stream doesn't come fast enough. Because I never know if those are going to happen every week, every other week. Place the construction equipment on areas I'm working on. It buys you time. It doesn't get done. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea too. This is cool. I really like having all of these statues. It makes the bridge feel so much more grand. Uh, they're a little bit smaller than what we had before, but that's okay. I think it's cool. And you know what? There's so much room around the great statues that I could put some other stuff down around them. Like I could put some gold bars or I don't know, just some other riches down there. That could look really nice too. Yeah. There's another thing. I'm kind of nervous about this one, but let me show you. So I've had some thoughts about my bridge. And the one thing I don't like about it is how easy it is to, to see it from this angle. You see how you see all that dirt and it doesn't feel like a bridge anymore? I was thinking about solutions to that, and I thought what I might do is make a mountain right here. But if I did that, it would cover up these guys. And then I was also thinking it might be cool if I put some castle towers around either side. So I was going to at least try that to see how I felt. Because I have some extras. So where those would go is right here. And then right here. I have not found a place for my rocks yet. I'm actually starting to panic about that a little bit. So it hides a little bit of uh, what's going on over there, and that's that's like the one drawback to having these towers. You can no longer see the first two knights that are kind of greeting you, but they're there. It's it may be okay, and then we can see them from over here. So if I were to just put like a fence or something right here, or ooh 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 ooh, ooh, ooh wait wait wait. Oh, but I'm thinking about putting a mountain here. Never mind. I was going to put a castle wall with a, not a castle gate, you know? But if I put a mountain here, I can't do that. Oh, gosh. Do I just connect the path and get over it? Because I was going to make this path inaccessible from this side. It, these do look nice here. Yeah, I do like them here a lot. Mm, I'll, have to, I'll have to think about this more. Look how much nicer this looks with the castle uh, turrets there. This whole area just came together. I just got to put the little like, very expensive red crest on them. Put 
put rocks at the bottom of the cliff behind some houses. What are you doing down there, balloon? Where are you going? I want my rocks to be accessible. Doing Happy Home at the moment on Monty, but I can't choose what to do at the first and second floor. What is Monty like? What's like his prompt? Cat's trying to win me over by wearing the bad rat shirt. <laughs> Don't water the... <sighs> I don't have enough customization kits. Uh... I know Monty's a monkey. I mean, what's his, like, what's his thing? Um, I don't, because I don't know if I've done his happy home home. I've had him in my main game, but I don't, I've never done his, like, happy home prompt. You know how they're always like, I want a house that smells like the beach. And then you get a bunch of beach items. Nineteen is all I have? Ugh. Finally got your dreamy on seven tickets. That's, wow, congrats. I can only afford one of these red crests. That's so frustrating. Let's go buy some more. Mildrew, it's okay, how's it going? Welcome. Let's buy some customization kits. I used to Monty when I hate him so much. Happy when he asked to move. I liked Monty. I thought he was fun. He's a cool dude. But I did let him go. And now I have Ion or Ioni or I don't I've, I don't know. It's another. All the new villagers have confusing names, but uh, I have that one. Vanilla Shake, how's it going? Alright, keep them coming. Customization kit me. Simply Zelda, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm still blown away. We raised $2,000. These last two live streams, we've been raising money for uh, children and families in Ukraine. Uh, Unicef is, isn't the only... Uh, charity taking donations for this cause either, but uh, they're going to get water and supplies to people who really need them. So this is really, really important. Island's looking great. Thank you. Azalea, how's it going? Welcome. Monty was your first camper? Oh, no. Where I live, I can't donate? Aw, oh, that's okay. It, it's, I, it's, it's a YouTube thing. They do make it a little bit challenging sometimes. I'm sorry. You can always go to the website, though. I, I think that might make it a little bit easier. If you go to the UNICEF website. Because I think they have... I, I think they have a website for like a lot of different countries. Am I customizing? Yes, I'm customizing. Frago Fragment, how's it going? Alright, we got our red crests. A mystery solver cl Oh, I did do his! Okay, so I only did a first floor with Monty. 
I th- wow, I thought I forgot I did his. So until you said that, uh, I just gave him like a Sherlock Holmes style library on the first floor. Uh, I don't think I did a second floor for Monty. What would a second floor? Maybe what you do. So give him a study on the first floor, like lots of bookshelves and and things like that, right? Maybe you throw some papers around, make it real messy because he's like always working on some mystery. And then upstairs, you just give him like a bedroom, like you know. But maybe it's you can use the sloppy furniture, and like he doesn't have time to make his bed or anything. The, the dude sleeps like three hours, and he goes back downstairs to solve mysteries. Um, that would be my my take on that. Okay, what if we now that we did that? What if we started terraforming a little bit? Let's see with with this. Uh, just came from e- uh, EJ Stream. Hey, Chaotic, how's it going? Welcome. So, how was Last Crosser standing? My stream went a lot longer. I usually, when th- these streams end, I try to catch like the end of those, and that did not happen this time. <laughs> Who's my dreamy? I don't know. I, this changes for me, but right now, I would like to have Goldie on this island. I feel like that's kind of important. So maybe Goldie? Let's see how this looks. Intense, lots of tea. Have you ever been to LC- on LCS? Yes. Uh, when EJ relaunched it, I was in the... Uh, I think he called it something Titans, maybe Battle of the Titans or something like that. I was in... Whichever one that one was. Um, it's been a while. I was voted off very, very quickly. Which was probably... I would have voted me off. Let's just put it that way. This rock. I'm sorry. Go find a new home, rock. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, what do we think? Oh, that's not going to work. I was going to try and center up like a... No, that's not going to work. Am I streaming tomorrow? Um, No, probably not. Okay, so I could put something cool right here. Uh, it... It does block off all the traffic from the left side there. So I cannot cross over anymore. Oh, I can. Uh, well, a hedge or something will fix that. Okay. You were good in LCS, had me cracking up. I enjoyed myself. But, but, but good is, that's a very generous use of the word good, I think. What's Last Crosser Standing? So every so often EJ runs these tournaments and he calls them Last Crosser Standing. And, uh, you know, I think the prize is basically like a million bells to the person who wins. But uh, it is it is a tournament where there's a whole bunch of mini games. It's, it's set up, it's structured like the show Survivor, which is a CBS show. I don't know if uh, maybe you know it. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. I'm messing this up real bad. Oh, my gosh. I can't seem to hit the right buttons. Okay. Here. Let's do that. And that. Okay. Great. All right. So we can put down like a little waterfall there. I don't think I want to make this any taller. I don't know. 
if I made it taller, I wouldn't really have a lot of room to do much. I assume you have to be well known to participate. I think he actually has an application that you can fill out, but I'm not sure. I He invited me when he was relaunching it. I'm not sure where that application lives. We could do something cool up here. Now that I made this little waterfall, I think this little cliff could be something neat. Let's keep that the way it is. All right. And then let's take a look again. How do we like the way this all turned out? So from back here, it feels a lot more like a courtyard now, which I really like. Isn't that the third level anyways? Oh, can I not make that taller? This would be the ground level. I could make it taller, but I couldn't go up there and put stuff, I think. Yeah. Wait, yeah. So I did it over here. I made it a little bit taller, but you can't go up there and put anything. Huh. Yeah, this is cool. Here, something's bugging me. I don't like these brick um, things anymore. The brick colored circles. So I'm going to switch them out with the stone ones. I think it'll look better. Uh, yeah, here we go. So display. Perfect. Yes. I did it. Oh, it's perfect. I can't believe I did that on my first try. What are we building? Well, I was working on my farm, and then I shifted gears, and now I'm working kind of on the entrance slash bridge area of town. I've been wanting to do some, like, make some of these changes for a while, and uh, once I finally, my brain broke enough <laughs> making that farm area, I was like, yep, I think it's time. All right, cool. Iron looks awesome. Thank you. So I have these banners, um, which look great, but there's no, the marketplace decorations. The problem with them is there is no customization for them. So this is what they look like. And there's like nothing anyone can do about that. So I don't know. What are you doing? I'll keep them for now. All right, there we go. Here, let's just pop the next one down right here. Where'd it go? Like the money trees? Oh, thanks, yes. Money, our, our island fruit is money tree. Uh. You can display them on the ground. I always click on it and just... I always click on it and then place it and then click display on the next one, etc., etc. Are you talking about being in build mode and you go into here and then you go down to here and then you do this? Because that's how I used to do it. Um, and then I found out you can just place them right out of your phone. Um... And then they go in a certain pattern. If you stand in one spot and you place down multiple, they, they kind of place around you in a certain pattern. So I've been trying to master that little pattern. Um, can I do a fan art of you? Uh, if you wanted to, we have a Discord. So if you ever did do something like that, you could submit it in there um, in the art channel. Um, yeah, but certainly don't feel obligated to do anything like that. What's your favorite fruit? Money. <laughs> it's true. It is true. Yeah, this is cool. This is coming along real nice. Oh, yeah, it's making me want to finish my, my house area too, which I just kind of gave up on after a while. There is so much work that needs to be done on this island. It's, it's ridiculous, but every time we do one of these streams, especially lately, thanks to all the 2.0 items, like, we make something incredible. So we did this. 
And that's a really good start. And now we've separated these two areas, which is something I've been wanting to do for a bit. Um, I might get rid of the water basin that I made because it just looks so square. We can just do this. Oh, you know what? I didn't realize that it's three wide. Never mind. Let's do this. There we go. That looks a little more natural. So yeah, we have that over there, and then we made this farm over here. Uh, we're still we're still kind of figuring out if we're going to use the scooter. Coco's sweeping up. A um, lot of work to do over here yet, but I'm I'm going to continue collecting items and things like that. Uh, we got our free range oinkoids, and uh, yeah, we've just been kind of putting this area together now, which I really like how it's turning out so far. I think it's looking pretty awesome. I'm really excited about it. This is great. Is there any other way to contact you, fan art on Discord? Twitter? I would say Instagram, but I just never, ever check Instagram. But uh, I do check my Twitter. At Crossing Minute over there. Yeah, this is great. I love free range oinkoids. Free range golden oinkoids. Ugh, man. Yeah, that was great. Okay, so real quick, um, probably not streaming tomorrow on either channel. Uh, I need to edit all the fun clips that we got from all the streams we did this weekend. Uh, and then, yeah, this weekend we raised over $2,000 for UNICEF, they're going to bring water and supplies to children and families in the Ukraine who are going through a crisis right now, and it is so cool. Thank you so much for showing up and uh, donating like you have. That's incredible. I I didn't know what number to put in that goal. I cannot believe we, we passed it twice. $500 yesterday, $2,000 today. I'm going to leave it up. So if you are watching this after the fact and it's still the first week after the stream is over, you should still be able to donate if you want to. Um, we may do another one in the future. I was, you know, just kind of see what happens. But uh, yeah, it this this should be up in either all the way through Friday or up until Friday, one or the other. I can't remember what I did, but I need to put an end date on it. So it, at one at some point or another, you won't be able to donate to it anymore. But you can always go to the UNICEF website as well and and show your uh, support that way too. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody. Let's have KK play us out and, uh, I'm going to go rest my throat and take a break. Um, all right, we'll, we'll let him pick so I get something new because I don't think I have all the songs yet. I'll leave it up to you. Make it good though, because we're, we're playing us out. All right, everybody. I'm going to raise the volume on this. Have a great rest of your night. Stay safe. Uh, we'll see you next time. Let's see what he's got for us. Chill Wave. Oh, Chill Wave's so good. You're so lucky you get to hear Chill Wave. Enjoy, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye. Uh...